my favourite part of the whole experience is watching these two students come together and build their relationship throughout the week because there's nothing that replaces that feeling of watching something build and a relationship build that's going to last forever. And so you can see how much you've got in common. The one big thing that my kids tell me once you've all gone home is they're just like us. They think the same things, they listen to the same stuff, they talk about the same things, they've got the same interests and the same worries and all the rest of it. So it's just about breaking down those barriers and it's fantastic. This June, BTV took 21 students and three teachers to Bourne Community College in England. Each of the students stayed with the host family for a week and learned about their life and culture. What is it like being part of an exchange program with American students? Um, I think it's really good because you get to, sort of know, get to know more people and um, it sort of helps you make more friends around the world. So we get to learn about their culture. After arriving at the school, our students played icebreaker games to get to know the born students. They then spent the weekend doing various activities and outings with their host families, such as visiting Arundel Castle, touring historic dockyards at Portsmouth, or having a barbecue with other host students. <laughs> Because Whoa. you get to learn about the different ways Joe might live or different things he might like to do over here. And some things that we take for granted, like going to the beach, that they really enjoy doing over here. The British students taught us how to play the traditional English game of rounders. Well, we taught them how to play American games such as ships and sailors and capture the flag. Where's the flag? Where's the flag? The benefit, I think, for a student's point of view is to get rid of stereotypes. Because we see an awful lot of things about America and about Spain and about France in the media and the news, and we just kind of assume that's what it's like. So the main things we get, obviously, are your TV programmes and your sports. And apart from that, we don't get a real feel for what American teenagers are like. So it's just nice to get a human angle on it and to get rid of some of those stereotypes about the differences. The British accent is rubbish. Chicken Nando's. Cheers, mate. Good day, mate. Do you want some tea? Can I have a hamburger? Can I have fries, man? Indianapolis Colts. Oh, my God. I'm a Republican, and I like guns. We had the chance to meet and catch up with the born students that visited Bachelor last year. What do you remember the most about the United States? Um, I remember the wheelbarrow race that we did at the, um, the farm because I couldn't actually see anything. Um. What did you miss? The family that I stayed with. They were really nice to me. And what did you learn from your experience? Uh, the sports are way bigger in America than here. I learned that the school is very different compared to each other. Um, I learned that I want, I want a bigger family, like a lot of American people, they have big families and they have siblings to play with lots. Our group visited two warships from the 1800s in Portsmouth Historic Dockyard to learn about England's rich history. We had the opportunity to end our trip by learning more about our craft, filmmaking, by touring the Harry Potter studios in London. All the friendships that were made through this exchange allowed us to learn not only about our new friends, but also about the British culture and history. From this experience, I learned about British culture and the differences in our communities. Going on this trip was an unforgettable experience because I got to meet a lot of new people and experience the British culture.